Hello guys, how y'all doing? I'm Bony096 here, and today, we're gonna take a look at a brand new game, Syndicate, by uh, EA. It just uh, came out um, about yesterday, I, I got it yesterday, so I decided to do a little, uh, take a little look at it. I'm gonna do a little video on it too, and just talk about um, some of the features okay. uh, about this uh, brand new game that, uh, it's pretty fun. So, um, basically, um, it takes place in the year 2069, I believe, and it's a pretty intense game. It reminds me somewhat of Deus Ex, or that's what a lot of other people are saying. That That's what it reminds them of, except that it's a lot more uh, shooter type. So, I've actually never played Deus Ex, but um, I have seen some videos about it, and from what I've read, uh, a lot of people do say that it's, a lot, it's kind of like Deus Ex. So, I'm going to take the work for it. And, um, this is one of the early missions of the game that I've decided to, uh, film in, which is, I actually, uh, most of the films that you're gonna see in this, uh, video are in this mission. So, uh, basically, you're this, uh, corporation that's, like, fighting, uh, against, like, these other corporations that are, like, manufacturing these dart chips or something like that, and they're copying, um, I guess like you're the original chip or something like that, the original chip manufacturer and there's like these other corporations are like making copies and trying to sell them as their own I guess they're they're just going out and just trying to stop them all and just uh, basically just kill them so basically that's cool, kinda kind of intense and uh, so uh, basically um, um, there's also uh, you have a chip in your head which acts really uh, weird but it's pretty it's pretty good like it's pretty cool how you have it in your head and everything because you're able to actually breach and hack different objects in your surroundings you can um, uh, hack computers to bring out like barriers so you can get give yourself more cover or you can take away cover for your enemies which um, you can actually find out where they are and this thing I'm using right now is um, it's called the dart overlay Basically, um, it, you're able to see your enemies behind cover no matter where they are, which is very helpful for uh, like just knowing where they are. And this technique I'm using right now is called um, it's an application that's in the dart chip that you get at the beginning of the game. It's called suicide, and it's basically what it does. Basically, if uh, you make a guy commit suicide around you, um, he'll go take a gun, whatever. He'll start shooting up. His teammates, and then when he's done, he's got no one else to kill. He'll just take himself out in the head and break through some glass. Poor kid. Unpredicted behavior from breach. Okay, so here now we have reached our target in the game, and he's, I guess, one of the main uh, manufacturers of the chip, and so he committed suicide, I didn't tell him to, but he just did anyways, so now we're gonna have to take his chip, and by doing that we have to use his little thing, I don't know, we stab in his ear, and then I don't, I don't know what, but spaghetti, but spaghetti little fingers, things come out and just kind of, they go inside of his head, and they just take that blue thing in, which is the chip. And uh, when you acquire chips or you steal them from other people, you actually uh, then use those chips to upgrade yours, which is very helpful because you can give yourself more health, uh, adrenaline boost, uh, more more power ups just for your chip. And so now, what's really cool about here is that um, I do uh, manage to I don't know what, but on your guns, uh, most of the guns in the campaign they have two firing modes. Um, the one I just switched to now on this pistol is a tri shot. So uh, this pistol apparently has a semi-automatic firing mode and then a tri shot um, automatic mode, which is pretty uh, sweet. It's pretty uh, amazing actually, because it's very helpful. Because seeing how uh, the tri shot does more damage, but yeah, it gives you a uh, kind of gives you less ammo. It's pretty, um, pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. So now if you've just seen here, um, that turret, I just hacked it to make it my own to kill the enemies for me, so I didn't have to waste any much ammo. Well, not as much anyways. And so, um, well, it's actually very helpful for that. And so now here, uh, the melee attacks, they're actually, uh, fairly different from most, uh, first-person shooters, because instead of just, like, pressing in, like, um, a 
pushing the button or meleeing. It, you don't actually like, like, put your gun out like, or something like Halo or Call of Duty, where you have like a knife, you just swing it out like all randomly. In this, you actually have to run up to the enemy or like, run up behind them or in front of them, and then you actually press the button. Then you do a sweet, awesome attack that I just really love. It's pretty sweet. Uh, the, the animations for it are really nice too. And so now here, uh, we just acquired a new brand new gun. It's, I have no idea what the name of it is, but it's pretty sweet to me. Because I don't know what, it has like this lock on mode where if your enemies are behind cover, then uh, you just shoot up in the air or something like that. Then the bullets, I don't know what, they actually trace the enemy and they go towards them. So you don't have to go find them yourself. They just shoot randomly and just go find them for you. Very, very, very helpful. I really love that gun. It's, it's actually one of my favorites so far in this game. Okay guys, so now like, out of everything I just kind of basically said, um, I, I really like this game so far anyways, like, campaign is, is, uh, very good, has a very good storyline and everything, um, the, I like the, I like the graphics, the futuristic, uh, futuristicness of it, like, the violence and everything, it's pretty cool, I really enjoy it, um, that's my opinion anyways, I don't know if any else you guys think, um, if you guys aren't having uh, speculations, I don't know yet, but I think the demo for the game is still actually out, so if you guys want it, you can just go still download that and play it for free. I'm not quite so sure. Alright, but so anyways, um, I was thinking, um, I don't know what, me and Leotaro, we could do, we were going to do some videos on the, on the co-op missions. Uh, not for the campaign, but for uh, the separate co-op missions. So if you guys are feeling up to that, like that sounds pretty cool, then uh, please uh, support that and um, just kind of like this video to help show support and also leave some comments that you're also going to be into that sort of thing. So um, I'm actually kind of hoping to do that. And, um, if he has the game, then um, uh, then we'll be totally doing that. If he doesn't, then I don't know. Maybe I'll do I'll do it by myself for a little bit until he does. I don't know. I don't know so far yet. But um, anyways, that's the that's basically uh, Syndicate right here. It was a brand new game. I really enjoy it. And please remember, guys, to rate, comment, and subscribe and support this video because this game is awesome. Later.